our audience. Ava, Kayla, Emily, Tanner, Kill, Maddie, Ryan. Abraham Lincoln was one of the best presidents in this country's history because he ended slavery, aided the struggling lower class, and desired unity over division. He was the first of for many things in America. He was the first Republican president, first to be assassinated, first to be born outside of the 13 original states, and mainly known for the first president to have a beard. Although he is best known for signing the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed the slaves, his other efforts and achievements shouldn't go unnoticed. In 1862, Lincoln gave the lower class a helping hand by signing the Homestead Act, offering benefits through agriculture. During the Civil War, relations between the North and South were simply put hostile. In spite of this, Lincoln believed that the Union needed the South and without them they would not last, mainly because of the Union's access to railroads and transportation and the South's access to the booming economy and cotton. The South had two-thirds of the world's cotton and the North simply couldn't stand alone. On May 20th, 1862, Lincoln signed the Homestead Act, opening government land to mostly small, family-based farmers. Individuals who were over 21 years or older, or the head of the family, could be given 160 acres of land and to try to prepare <coughs> the use of land for five years. If the homesteaders proved, at the end of the time, allotted that the land had been successfully farmed, then they were given ownership of it. The goal of this was to make the union larger and to make sure that pretty much the union could try to suffice by themselves. By the end of the Civil War, 15,000 people joined and began to settle these territories through the Western United States. Many people took advantage of these grants by fooling settlers into thinking they would help them by making money and simply forfeiting the deed of the land. Even though this became a problem, the majority of them were still hardworking poor folks that were just happy to have a home and a to call their own. All men are created equal. A simple and short narrative from the Declaration of Independence that goes much deeper than one would guess by simply reading it. It was one of the most, most talked about topics in the 19th century. The question was, what was considered a man under the eyes of God? Now that we have moved to a new way of thinking, we know that all men were truly created equal, but at one time, the color of a person's skin was all it took to be considered not human. Many people believe that African Americans were not human and therefore slavery was justified. On January 1st, 1863, as the Civil War raged on, Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, abolishing slavery in the United States. Through the law, only could stretch as far as the Mason-Dixon line. Due to the access of the South, it was a significant occurrence in the history of our country. This angered the South, closing their mind even further to the Union once again. Lincoln, knowing this, still desired the Southern states to realize what he already knew. One of the most famous quotes from his speech that he delivered in 1858 that says, a house divided cannot stand. He was determined to win the South and win the war most effectively. His goal was being to cut off the South's resources rather than killing them. When nobody else had the faith needed to win the war, Lincoln was there to tell everyone that it was possible. By showing this, he showed a sign of true dignity and leadership and integrity. Because of this, he was able to effectively win the war and reinduce the South back into the Union. Abraham Lincoln was the greatest and most renowned president because of his term, and he was able to move America through the Civil War. While doing this, he preserved the Union, modernized the economy, and gave the, a new lease on the United States of America. Abraham Lincoln was one of the best known presidents, and it's kind of a fact that everyone knows that. He was different and had a game plan for everything. He gave strength to the federal government and issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which is the beginning of freeing the slaves. Does anyone have any questions?
Yeah. Um, what what was the thing that he said? It started with an E. The emancipation yeah, proclamation. Yeah. Can't remember. Anybody else have any questions? Thank you for listening to my speech.